Hello, I'm Chris Adamski, one of the Adaptive Practice Managers here at Business Solution Partners. In this video today, I'm going to briefly give you an overview of how automated integration works. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to refresh your data in Adaptive almost instantly. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to pull in more data if needed. So let's go ahead and get started and get into design integrations via our main menu. Now within here, three major activities need to take place. First is within our data sources here. This is where we're going to connect to your source system and download and stage the data. Next, we need to create loaders that take that staging data and tell it where it needs to go within Adaptive. And then what we could do is we could create automated tasks that load that data in every night, every week, every month, whatever your business requirements are. So in this demonstration, I'm going to select my GL account loader task because I know that it, it, it includes all the loaders that I needed to run to update my actuals. And I know by way of looking at the definition here that this task runs every morning at 6 a.m. But I'm gonna go ahead and run this one manually. And I could do that by going over here on the left-hand side here and clicking the run manually option. Now in here, I'm gonna to choose to keep all the defaults here because I know this is set up uh, in, in the right way. And I know that I just want to refresh January and February of 2020. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and bypass the data import because I know in the real world it takes about uh, two to three minutes for uh, my data to download from my source ERP system. So we're going to speed things up here. And I'm going to select run manually at the bottom. And what it's going to do is it's going to go into our staging data uh, tables and load that data into accounts and levels in Adaptive. And then once that's done, I know that I have the freshest data available in my adaptive system here. Now let's take a look at another scenario here where you wanna pull in more data that's not already built out in, in the system. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, for this demonstration is create a new loader um, that's gonna pull in generic project and employee data and load that into a cube sheet that I already have created in, in adaptive. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new loader and it's gonna be a planning data loader. And I'm going to just call it uh, uh, projects and employee time and hit create. And this is the portion here. This is a screen that's, uh, uh, that we're going to define where to pull the data from and where to put it in adaptive. So I know I have pretty solid project data in this uh, adaptive project time source table. And I'm going to load that into a project time cube sheet that I already have created. I'm going to select my actuals version here because I just want to load in actuals. I'm going to select a couple of time periods here. And from there, I'll move on to the profiles tab where I need to link it up to a profile. A profile is very simply a container of data mapping that you could actually reuse across all of your other loaders so you don't have to uh, do mapping over and over again. And then from there, I just need to map our source columns to elements that I've created in, a, in my cube sheet in Adaptive. So I'm going to go through and do my mappings here. So account is going to be SQL accounts and level is going to be SQL level. Employee is going to come from an employee column in my staging database. Project is going to come from a customer column in my database. So next we can move on to data mappings. If there are any data mapping issues, you'll see uh, the unmapped column <clears throat> up here with uh, one or two or however many unmapped accounts or levels there, there may be. In my case, since I already have uh, stuff mapped from uh, reusing my, uh, my mapping profile, uh, I don't need to do anything here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save in the lower left here. I'm going to go ahead and run that manually. And again, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to speed things up and bypass the data import and keep all my defaults. I'm going to run manually. And when that's done, I could go over to my project timesheet, refresh that, and then I can start seeing some project numbers appear on the left-hand side. And if I scroll all the way over to the right, I know I loaded uh, January and February, I can see some data. How awesome is that? Uh, I was able to bring in data very quickly from my source system and load it into a cube sheet uh, within a, a minute or two. Uh, so from here, I could create reports and dashboards and do whatever else I need to with this data. So that wraps it up for this demonstration today. Thank you so much for your time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any other questions, 
uh, around adaptive or uh, integration within adaptive, feel free to reach out to our team of ex experts here at Business Solution Partners. Thank you and have a great day.